Why play Trindamir top? Well, he brings tons of damage, he scales well into the late game, he's insanely mobile, and he's an incredible split pusher. However, he is reliant on his ultimate to survive fights, and without summoner spells available he can be kited with CC. Trindamir's passive is his attacks generate 5 fury, and he generates 10 fury on critical strikes. The higher Trindamir's fury the more critical strike chance he gets, with 40% crit strike chance being the most when the bar is full. Trindamir's Q has a passive where he gains bonus attack damage which scales with his missing health. The active consumes all of his fury to heal him for a good amount, getting a larger heal the more fury consumed. Trindamir's W reduces the attack damage of all nearby enemy champions for 4 seconds. If the target had their back to Trindamir they're also slowed. Trindamir's E is a straight line skill shot which causes him to dash in that location dealing damage to all enemies he passes through. He generates 2 fury per enemy hit and 5 fury against champions. Critical strikes reduce this ability's cooldown, with this being even more effective against champions. Trindamir's ultimate is a classic 2 angry to die. Upon use he instantly gains a large amount of fury, and then he won't be able to die for 5 seconds. This ability can also be cast even when CC'd. For combos you basically want to have max rage and then go at them and attack them. From here use W if they flee and spin onto them. Otherwise you can also start the fight by spinning onto them with E using W as needed while attacking away. For matchups he can struggle against some lane bullies who can out duel him, or champions he simply can't get through. And he's great into champions he can run up to and just spam out attacks. For runes take this, lethal tempo lets you spam out even more attacks. For build order start blade and pot into Kraken Slayer and Tier 2 Boots. After this, a Stride Breaker and Hull Breaker are great pickups before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start E then Q then W before maxing Q then E then W taking ult whenever you can. Also, if you don't need the lower cooldown or more rage from the ultimate, you can take your second two points in this ability at level 17 and 18 instead. For summoner spells, take Flash and Ghost. In the laning phase, you want to focus on farming hard as your build is incredibly expensive, and one of the best ways to do this is by taking good trades when available. When you have max rage, if you can walk up to your opponent and start hitting them, you'll start dealing tons of damage. If they're an attack damage champion, your W will stop a lot of their damage, and your Q heal can be incredibly effective to winning the trade for you after the fight is done. And if you're able to simply walk up to your opponent and attack them, you still have your E available whether you need to retreat from the fight or chase them down. Entering the mid game, Trindamir wants to be split pushing hard. He is incredibly strong in a 1v1 scenario and can beat most champions in the game, so take your tower as soon as possible and keep split pushing to apply pressure. This will force your opponent into a bad position, where if they ignore you, you simply take their base. If they send just one person, Trindamir can easily dive towers with his ultimate killing them, and if they send multiple people to stop the split push, your team can get a massive amount of pressure elsewhere while you simply run away. However, despite Trindamir being an amazing split pusher, this doesn't mean you always want to be split pushing. However, when you have summoner spells available and when objectives are up, you want to consider team fighting. When team fighting, you almost want to play the assassin role. You'll often be collapsing on a team fight from a side lane, which makes you an incredibly strong flanker. You want to look for an opportunity to either E over a wall onto their backline, or simply E straight through their front line onto something squishy, where, with your insane damage and mobility, you can simply remove them from the map. But regardless, keep spamming out attacks. More attacks means more crits, which means more uses of your E to spin onto the next champion. 